happening guys my name is Marvin or you can call me Tio Ping whoever you are that's pretty much my nickname Tio Ping I like cooking and I like to doing new things and today I'm going to be making uh, it's called fish in an envelope or in Spanish pescado en papelado which I like too and these are pretty much my ingredients I'm gonna be using salmon I'm gonna be using olive oil with kid chicken, uh, chicken consomme and a little bit of salt. I'm going to be using garlic, pepper. We are using right here, this is dill. Dill is really good. It's awesome. I love this herb. Also already chopped. A couple of peppers because we need to have a little spice. These are lemon, lemon leaves. These are awesome. And this is lemongrass. The smell is excellent for, for to make fish in an envelope. And we have our salmon. So this is what I'm gonna do right now. Right now we're mixing, we're gonna, we're gonna put a little bit of chicken consomme on the salmon. See that? Just like that. You put a little bit on the salmon just like that. Doesn't have to be anything big or anything. You're gonna drop whatever you have left, you're gonna drop it in the pan. See that? That's just awesome. You're gonna put a little water in here. You don't wanna go on, you don't want anything to go to waste. So you wanna use everything that you can. And this is the first step. You're gonna grab the fish, put it in the pan, just like that. Nothing special. Put it in the pan, get a little bit of the chicken consomme on the back with the olive oil. You got four pieces right now. And this is just what I call a little bit of magic. You drop all the onions on the side. The onions are gonna be caramelized and are gonna be very, very tasty. Just put them on the side. Don't put them right on the fish. Just let it be like that. You're gonna grab your dill and this dill, you're gonna put it right on top of the fish. You don't need a lot. It's really, it's up to you how much you like. It's a little tangy. The flavor of dill is awesome. You're gonna love it. So I like it and I like how it looks. So I'm putting a little bit because I wanna eat those onions are gonna be delicious too. You wanna eat the onions. You're gonna add the leaves. You can put it any way you want to. It doesn't have an order. Just place them in there. If you want it to look pretty, you make it look pretty. It's all up to you. Then you put the leaves. You want leaves in there. You want the smells to come in your fish. You want your fish to smell delicious. You want to put your peppers. This is just for a little kick. I like a little kick, so there go, there go some peppers. Then, the garlic and the peppers together. You're gonna put it here in the water. Mix it a little bit. It's already a little salty. I'm gonna put a little bit more salt in it. And I'm gonna be dropping it on my fish, which is called envelope fish, or pescado en papelado and in Spanish. This is a little something else that I like to do. I like to put a little bit of oil again. This is grapeseed oil. It won't burn. You put it a little bit on the sides. It won't make you sick. I love this oil. I'll eat a lot of it. And this is what it looks like. Just pescado and papelado. It already has all the spices in there. I'm gonna put a little salt on top of it. Just a little bit. It's gonna cook in its juices. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. And this is what you do. You grab it and you make an envelope, just like this. You fold it over here, easy. And you fold it over here. And see, you are gonna end it up with an envelope. You close the envelope because you want the steam to cook all this fish. This is gonna be delicious. I already made it with catfish, now I'm making it with salmon, 
and I think I'm gonna try all the fish in the rainbow. So this is one of them. You don't have to close it completely just like this. It'll steam itself up, it'll be delicious. Now, one more thing you do. You add water to the pan. Just put water right in there, lift it a little bit. Now, you just turn on the stove and you let it sit and you let it cook for about an hour to 45 minutes, something like that, or you'll check it out and see how it is. I will take a picture once it's done and I'll put it on the, in there.